Okay, I'm going to try and show you how to adjust the valves on a GY6 engine. This is a 50cc, or actually an 80cc. The 125cc's and the 150cc should be basically the same. The flywheel marks, I believe, are just slightly different. Uh, before you get started, you'll need to remove the cooling fan cover. You don't actually have to have the cooling fan off. This motor just isn't back together yet. You also need to remove your valve cover. You don't need to remove all the engine shrouds and stuff, but you have to have the valve cover off. You want to start by rotating your engine until the T mark on the flywheel lines up with this timing mark on your engine case here. When that's lined up, hopefully you'll see that these three holes are aligned as you're seeing here. These two just parallel, just about level with this surface and of course the big hole perpendicular all the way at the top. When it's timed up like this, I don't know if you can really tell this too well in the video, but uh, your camshaft should, both of the rocker arms should be on the base circle of the camshaft. You can move it around a little bit, you won't see them move. That's what you're looking for. You need the valves to be completely closed. I'm just going to show you how to adjust the exhaust valve for this video. Uh, I think the way my camera's set up, you're going to be able to see that a lot better than the intake. The procedure for both of them is basically the same, it's just that you may use a different setting on the intake and exhaust. For example, I use three thousandths of an inch, that's .003 on the intake, and I use four thousandths of an inch on the exhaust. Some people use three thousandths for both, four thousandths for both, two thousandths for both, staggered between those, whatever. Any of those honestly should work fine for you. If you use a higher setting, and you hear a lot of tapping, you probably need to go down a little bit. Like for instance, if you use four thousandths and it taps like crazy, you might want to try using three thousandths of an inch. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is get a feeler gauge out, the appropriate size for what you're trying to do. I'm going to use a four thousandths of an inch. Check the exhaust valve, or check whatever valve, because you don't want to set a valve that's already set correctly, you're just wasting your time. And as you can see, this won't fit in there at all, so obviously that's too tight. What I want to do is use a 9mm wrench and loosen this nut right here. Once that's loose, you can turn this bit and it should turn away from there and create more clearance. Now, I like to use a little bit of oil from a squirter or somehow just to make sure it's nice and smooth and I'm getting the proper adjustment. Slide your feeler gauge in there. As you can see right now it'll slide really easy. It's actually too loose. And then begin turning this adjuster right here. And you should turn it until you feel slight tension. If you turn it too much the feeler gauge is actually going to hang up. You won't be able to move it. You don't want a lot of tension, you just want it to be slight tension. It should feel like there's some kind of pressure there, but it's not trying to hold the feeler gauge up. It's pretty easy to understand once you try it yourself. And once you get it to that point, tighten this up by finger, make sure this isn't moving. It's probably going to be easier to remove the feeler gauge. You'll need a set of vice grips pliers, adjustable wrench, something like that because you're going to have to hold this in place to make sure your adjuster doesn't go out of adjustment while you're tightening this nut. And once again you need the 9mm wrench to tighten that nut. Excuse me. So, put your wrench on the nut. Try to make sure you don't move anything. Sorry, I'm trying to work around the camera right now. And attach your vice grips so you can hold that in place and begin to tighten this down. You want that pretty snug, don't try to break anything. Then you can remove your vice grips, remove your wrench. If you've done it right, you should be able to check with your feeler gauge and it should feel just like it did before, just slight tension. And that's pretty much all there is to adjusting your valves. Like I said, you'll just want to repeat that for the intake, get the settings you want there, then reassemble your engine. If it taps a lot, then most likely you've set your valves too loose. Uh, if you have a loss of compression, you might have set something way too tight and your valves could be holding partially open. You want to be very careful. 
because uh, if you if you suspect that at all, do not run the engine. Take it back apart. Try it again because uh, worst case scenario, it's possible that you could have some uh, piston to valve clearance issues and cause yourself some real problems with a bent valve or something along those lines. So just be careful doing it. Take your time, and uh, this will clear up a lot of hard starting issues and things like that.